the one last thing that I want to talk a little bit is so-called the green boundary segregation. Green boundary segregation, which is when the MIT professor was here, he talked about green boundary segregation. He's trying to use that to control the green girls for his special metal alloy to in order to get higher harness. So let's just introduce the concept a little bit. Alloy and the green boundary. What does alloy mean? We have a metal, quite often pure element. Alloy means you add some other foreign metallic elements, quite often that's alloy. And that foreign metallic elements would cause lattice strain. Why? Because that foreign atom would be in terms of size somewhat different, either bigger or smaller. Let's just forget about the chemical. But if either bigger or smaller, if it's bigger, it's pushing everybody apart. If it's smaller, it's trying to shrink. So either way, it's called in so-called a lattice strain, okay? And because of this, it's causing the green energy to go up a little bit because it's pushing everybody. Everybody feels the energy, feels the pressure that causes the green energy to go up. And in order to relieve this energy, in order to relieve this energy, what people find is the salute atom, the impurity atom, the atom that uh, are not pure, the atom that you added in has a tendency sometimes to, well, to move to where? To the green boundary. Well, why? We said the green boundary versus the green is more open or more openly packed or more densely packed. Green boundary compared with within the green, which one is more densely packed? Green or green boundary? Green is more densely packed, which means green boundary is more open. Make sense? Your coordination number in the green may be 12, in the green boundary you may be 11, maybe 10. Make sense? Because you are broken, you have broken certain bonds, which means you are packed less, you, which means you are more open. And because of you are more open, thus that's where the impurity salute atom have a tendency to to go because if your impurity atom is much larger it's pushing everybody but then if the green boundary is open it can has a better capability to so-called accommodate that larger impurity atom make sense so that's kind of the fundamental if we understand it if we have impurity that impurity is either pushing or dragging everybody that's causing a lot of stress strain in the system in order to relieve it the system has a tendency the system has a tendency for that impurity that a bigger atom to go well to go well is more open where is more open not in the green but at the green boundary where the green meets each other okay and then let's define a few parameters xp the atom fraction in B4 green boundary, okay? X0 is the atom fraction for the salute atom within the bulk, in the green. Xb is in the green boundary, okay? And then if we define a parameter called beta B, green boundary segregation coefficient, which is essentially the ratio of xp over x0. The green boundary segregation coefficient that measures, okay, how much segregation, how greater the tendency for the impurity atom to go well from green to the green boundary, from the densely packed green to the more open green boundary. Okay, generally, as you can imagine, xp is greater than one or less than one greater than one because that's where the salute, the impurity atom tends to stay. Make sense? It's general XB is greater than one. And then another term, so-called uh, data GB, the molar free energy released, released when the salute atom move from, from where? Inside of the green, in the densely packed region to green boundary where it's more open. 
the amount of energy that is released, that is given out when a when a molar or one atom move from within the green to the green boundary. Okay. So for dilute alloy, people find this relationship. X B. Well, uh, sorry again. Uh, beta B. What does beta mean? Segregation coefficient. It's defined as what? X B over X zero. Segregation coefficient is defined as the ratio of atom fraction in the boundary, green boundary, divided by the atom fraction in the green, in the bulk. This ratio would be exponential of GB over RT. Okay? And we said uh, typically delta GB is a positive number. If exponential positive number means this ratio is greater than one makes sense that's just uh, the other way to think of it and then what about the temperature impact when temperature goes lower this beta become larger or smaller when t goes lower this beta become larger or smaller larger what does that mean for a given system the lower the temperature the more segregation or the less segregation As temperature goes lower, T decreases, this function becomes larger, which means beta, the segregation becomes larger, which means for the same alloy, the lower the temperature, the solute atom has a greater tendency to go well. Go to the green boundary. Okay. Then what about the solubility? Here we are plotting what versus what? The vertical axis is our so-called green boundary enrichment, which is our just the segregation ratio. Beta is xb over x0. This is what we care, right? Green boundary segregation coefficient versus what is our horizontal axis? Read. Solubility. But interestingly, how we plot solubility? One means solubility 100%. 1, 10 to the negative 2, that means what? 1%. This one is 0.01%. So which side is higher solubility? On this plot, which side is higher solubility? Atom solubility, which side is higher solubility? Left side is higher solubility. The right side is lower solubility. What does this plot show is that, okay, the lower the solubility, the higher the extent of green boundary segregation. Make sense? When you think, the lower the solubility means what? The solute likes the solvent or the solute hates the solvent. The lower the solubility. The lower the solubility means the Salute, the impurity hates the solvent. And of course, where would that salute go? To go to the bend boundary. Make sense? So it kind of makes sense. The lower the solubility, which means the salute and the solvent really don't like each other, then of course you have a greater tendency for higher beta, means higher GB green boundary segregation. On the other hand, the higher the solubility means what? The higher the solubility means the solute and the solvent, they like each other. The higher the solubility, they really like each other. They're really similar to each other. Then in that case, you would expect a very little segregation. Make sense? Now look at this plot. Copper and gold. If you study chemistry a little bit, Copper and gold, they are different, but they are in the same group, right? And actually, if you think, copper looks what color? Well, quite often brass, like a yellowish color. Gold looks color. They are both very good conductor, right? They are both very good conductor. They are pretty similar to each other. And they have a low tendency to segregate. On the other hand, we, ha we have here iron and carbon. 
what's the mechanical or physical property between iron and carbon? Very, very different, right? Very, very different. Mechanically, color, everything, very, very different. And they have a greater tendency to separate. Similar for copper and bismuth, they belong to different uh, group. They have very different melting point, very different crystal structure. So they have a greater tendency to separate. And similarly, like last time when the Dr. Shu was here, he was talking about copper and uh, tungsten. Tungsten has tungsten crystal structure, different copper FCC. And tungsten melting point is here. Copper melting point is here. So of course they have a tendency to segregate. And he's using that trick to limit the green girls. Okay, let's stop here. Thank you.